Hi, it's Steve with Big PT Scott. We're back. We're going to talk about super trainers this time. So super trainers can fit, can work as an everyday trainer, or if you have a quiver of footwear, they can serve as your kind of tempo shoe or workout shoe. Um, so they kind of blur the lines between those two. Uh, with super trainers, they may or may not have a plate at all, and if they do have a plate, they're more likely to have a plastic or nylon plate versus a carbon plate. The plastic or nylon plate is going to be a little bit more forgiving, especially when you're going slower. It will have some pop, but especially if you're going uphill slow, you will not feel like you're fighting against the shoe as much as you might if you have a carbon plate in your in your uh, in your shoe. So let's talk about a couple of them. You have the Super Blast from Asics. You have the Monster Hyper from On. Neither of which have a plate at all, but the foam's a little lighter. It's a little bouncier. You will feel faster in it, but you can use it for a long, slow distance. Um, with nylon or plastic plates, you have the Endorphin Speed from Saucony, the Mach X from Hoka, and the Hyperion Max from Brooks. And again, just a quick reminder, that plastic plate, a little more forgiving. Not as fast, but a little more versatile for all your knees. And finally, we have the Super Comp Trainer from New Balance. It is carbon plated, but you'll notice it's got a lot of foam between your foot and the carbon plate. That is to mitigate sometimes that frustrating feeling of fighting the shoe when you're going slower. So there you have it, emerging category, Super Trainers. Uh, come check them out at Big PT's Comp. Best Miles be those covered on foot.